Hi, it's another Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul and I'm tinkering with Home Assistant. That's what I like to do every Sunday. And I've been talking about these high home plugs. They've got Tasmota flashed on them. And I've been talking about MQTT. If you've seen the last couple of videos on MQTT that I've done, then hopefully you have a simple idea of what it is and how to install it in Home Assistant. You'll have the add-on and you'll have the integration to be able to have an MQTT broker running on Home Assistant and for Home Assistant and to be able to speak MQTT. So what I'm going to do today is show you how I've configured a couple of these plugs. I'll do a third one as a quick demo and show you how quick and easy it is to see those devices then in Home Assistant. So here's two I've got set up. This is the equipment rack. I've got a plug in my equipment rack and I've got another one hooked onto the oven. So let's have a look now at what I do to set up another one of these. I've got one on the washing machine. So let's take a look. Now I actually find it quite easy on the mobile to uh, do the configuration of the plugs. It's just, just very easy. So let me bring it up. 232. I know I have another plug there. And just wait for that to load. Now I will put a link to these instructions from the web and it really is very very simple to do now here i have the washing machine there you go and you can see the current volts there it's obviously not running at the moment but you can also see for example the energy today and the energy yesterday so we used the washing machine yesterday hasn't been used today so let's now do the first step mqtt needs to be enabled so i go into configuration and i go to configure other and there it is, it's already enabled. Fantastic. So now I can go, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plug name, I'm just gonna highlight all that and copy. That'll be handy when I set the topic name. Now, go into configure MQTT. Now here the host, this is my home assistant IP address, which in my case, 192.168.88. I don't remember it, so. There it is in front of me. Great. The port, default client, I'm not going to touch. Now, user. This is a username that I'm going to connect to the MQTT broker. Now, this username is actually set up in Home Assistant. So if I go down to configuration, people and zones, and I have a look at users, here it is. This is the MQTT underscore user, and I've said only log in from local network, and the password, well, that's set. I'm not going to tell you it. Now, if I go back to this device, and then I put in this MQTT underscore, oops, keep it all lowercase, user, and then down here, put the password in, don't look, da, 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 da. Hmm, 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 hmm. right, now, topic. So topic is, well, I have one good description comment from, from one of you saying that topic's kind of like, if you think of a pin board and all these messages being thrown on the pin board, perhaps in the post office, MQTT, um, topic identifies kind of a section of the board to look at. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the topic the name of the plug. So plug high home washing machine. This means that in Home Assistant, if I want to find that device or the entity, I can just look for this name. I'll look for plug high home washing machine. So that's all set. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit save and just wait for the plug to do a little reboot. And I'm going to put this away. Now, you can see these two devices I've got set up. What I'll do though is I'll go down to configuration and I'll go into integrations, devices, entities, areas, and here you can see Tasmota. Now, look, it just came up straight away, third device there. So now I've got three devices. Now, if for some reason, the very first device, when you add it, you should see this integration pop up automatically, and it'll just go, hey, I've found something, and you can add it. Otherwise, you can just go add integration, and then just add it there, just like that, right? No problem. No problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my dashboard here and I'm going to edit this Lovelace dashboard. It's not the world's best dashboard, but we're just playing here, so it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to go find that plug. This was the washing machine plug. So equipment rack, scroll down the list. Second one is oven. 
third one, there it is. So, energy used today, nothing, which is correct. So there we go. Now, I have three plugs set up in Home Assistant and I can see the voltage, I can see the power usage. Now for me, I'm going to do something a little bit fancy. I'm gonna add these to the energy dashboard, that's for sure, but I actually wanna know how much it costs to run each of these appliances every single day. So it's not a simple equation. The reason is we're on an energy market price. It's like a spot price. We pay a price for electricity that's different every single hour, okay? Some days it actually fluctuates quite a lot. So what I wanna know is, for example, 0.4 kilowatt hours, what did that actually cost in euros or euro cents? And the way I'm gonna to have to do that is I'm gonna to have to figure out how to do some calculations in Home Assistant to be able to look at a particular hour, how many kilowatt hours we used, compare it to the electricity price, do the maths and keep a tally of those numbers. And then at the end of each day, add them all up and then I'll know exactly how much it costs. So if you're interested in finding out how I figure that out and I have no idea how to do it right now, so you can come along next week, hit subscribe and we'll see if we can figure it out next week together as I start to add these devices into the energy, energy dashboard and also do some of those price calculations. And if you have a clue how I should do that, then please down below comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was a quick little easy demo for you to think I can do that. If I can do it, you definitely can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.